Now, I don't know about you guys, but to me personally, Darth Vader is the face of the Star Wars franchise and one of the most iconic characters of the Star Wars films. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, with the sequel trilogy coming to an end with Star Wars Episode Nine by writer and director J.J. Abrams, and the fact that J.J. will be combining all nine Skywalker Saga films into one big epic movie, there's a lot going on for this film that a lot of people are looking forward to and so I wanted to focus in on the character of both Kylo Ren and Darth Vader. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions etc. One of which specifically has all to do with Darth Vader and his connection to the sequel trilogy, Kylo Ren and some mysterious characters in episode 9. Now, specifically, a description of Kylo Ren sitting on his throne in a throne room as Supreme Leader Ren. In front of him are multiple figures dressed in black cloaks. No helmets are seen, indicating these are not the Knights of Ren. The figures also are not wielding weapons. One figure is kneeling before Kylo Ren with a box, a box that the figure begins to open. Kylo Ren leans forward when the box opens for what's to be revealed as Darth Vader's lightsaber. In multiple pieces including fragments of the red kyber crystal. The hilt is split in three parts, one of which appears to be very burnt. The other piece has lots of wires tangled up colored black, and the third piece is a hollow cylindrical piece of metal. Now what's really interesting to me is that I personally believe that these black figures in front of Kylo Ren in cloaks are the acolytes of the beyond. Now in canon, Star Wars canon, all right, the, acoly the acolytes of the beyond, and this comes from Wikipedia, very interesting stuff for sure, and I believe that this lines directly up with what this is being described for in episode 9. So the Acolytes of the Beyond were a group of dark side fanatics who existed during the Galactic Civil War. After the death of Darth Vader and Darth Sidious during the Battle of Endor, the Acolytes of the Beyond purchased what they believed was the fallen Dark Lord of the Sith's lightsaber, intending to return it to him death. Two months after purchasing the lightsaber, the Acolytes staged a revolution in Coronet City of Corellia prior to the Battle of Jakku. Acolyte cells throughout the galaxy launched a series of coordinated attacks against New Republic, enclaves, and outposts on various worlds, including Deveron. So what's really interesting is the part that goes over how the Acolytes of the Beyond purchased what they believed was the fallen Dark Lord of the Sith's lightsaber, intending to return it to him in death. Very interesting stuff for sure. And as far as the description goes for Episode 9, Vader's lightsaber being split into three different pieces could very well have been from the explosion on the Death Star 2. Now, I believe that this was actually found on the planet Endor. We do know that apparently the Acolytes of the Beyond came across Darth Vader's melted helmet, and maybe and perhaps they are the ones who actually brought it to Supreme Leader Snoke. Now, the only thing that really confuses me is, would the Acolytes of the Beyond still be in existence during the events of Episode 9? Again, this was all taking place before the events of the Battle of Jakku, which is one year after the Battle of Endor. So we're talking about 30 some years later that the Acolytes of the Beyond would be interacting with Kylo Ren and whoever else is on board of this ship inside of his throne room. So the Acolytes of the Beyond are a set of characters that we have never seen on screen as of yet, and they are a pair of individuals that I personally would love to see. Now at first I was going to say, maybe this is a flashback, but it can't be since Ren is inside of his throne room, sitting on his own throne as Supreme Leader Ren. So perhaps... The Acolytes of the Beyond are still around and are older, or maybe, and perhaps this is a new generation of the Acolytes of the Beyond interacting with Kylo Ren. 
Now, this huge Darth Vader revelation quite possibly entering into the finalized version of the movie, I think is fantastic. Now, yes, would it seem a little repetitive to some of the viewers, you know, to some of the audiences out there, where in The Last Jedi, we got the Skywalker lightsaber being split into two, and then in Episode Nine, we're going to see Darth Vader's lightsaber being split into three different pieces with multiple kyber crystal fragments, you know, set apart from each other. Would that be repetitive to you guys? Would that make a whole lot of sense? Or would that actually be quite fitting in the Star Wars franchise, specifically with the sequel trilogy? Now, I don't know if you guys ask me, but I think that the better way to go is to actually have Darth Vader's lightsaber in one piece, where Kylo Ren would adopt it and be able to use it. That, to me, would be stunning. But, of course, realistically speaking, I guess that this matches up in a more realistic way where... The lightsaber itself took heavy damage upon the destruction of the Death Star 2, especially when the Emperor was thrown down that shaft and that fusion reactor exploded. That's probably when the lightsaber itself got destroyed. Now, you would believe that, you know, once the Death Star 2 exploded, that this lightsaber would be disintegrated, right? It would be obliterated into thin air and nothing would remain. That's what one would assume now, right? But who knows, maybe the lightsaber hilt is made out of some heavy material that can withstand such a blast, where it'll only be in pieces and chunks here and there, where it can be quite possibly either put together or not put together, and just use as, you know, a way of honoring the character of Darth Vader in the eyes of Kylo Ren. You see, this is a thing, this is an angle of Star Wars that I really love, and I think it's something that J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio are really trying to work around with in Episode 9, and kind of just tying it in with the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy itself. But anyways, guys, I would really love to hear your opinion about all of this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.